All right, guys, tow truck driver just dropped off this X3. Got to see what year it is first, but uh, I believe he's got the N20 in it, and this thing does not sound good at all. Okay, propulsion. That does not sound good. Gonna have to scan the codes and see what's going on with it, but as of right now, that should sound sketchy. Here we got the Notorious N20. These things are actually pretty good, but uh, timing chains do like to go on them if you use the 5W20 that they recommend from factory. 5W20 or 0W20. Gotta see which one it is, but I highly recommend putting 540 in these things. They can run it. Do a little bit of research, but anybody's gonna tell you to put 540 in this thing. Um, I'm gonna scan the codes and see what this thing's got going on with it. We're gonna go ahead and scan this. Uh, this is my little Autel scanner. I Got this on Amazon for about 300 bucks when they had it on sale. I'll put a link in the description down below if you guys want to get one because any modern vehicle, you're pretty much going to be required to use a scan tool for uh, most things, I'd say. You know, if it's got a misfire, you got to figure out what cylinder. If you need to do the brakes, sometimes you got to retract the electronic parking brake. Uh, this pretty much has all the functions you need it to for damn near anything. Uh, coating is kind of iffy. Uh, some other stuff is kind of iffy, but general... Most things you want to do, you could do it with this. Like we go to hot functions right here. You do oil resets, electronic parking brake, replace the battery so that the alternator doesn't overcharge the new one. Got a whole bunch of stuff you could do in here. Pretty much anything you'd want to do, you could do in here. Gonna do a quick auto scan here and see what the codes are. Let's see how many it's got. Any guess right now? I'm thinking seven. What do you guys think? Put in the comments. Want a free banana sandwich? Come on. Holy cow, 14 faults in the ECU, that's crazy. Fucking double, double what I guessed. So if anybody guessed 14, you get a banana sandwich. This is actually a beautiful interior for an X3. I love the wood trim in here. The terracotta brown on the interior. It's just, these are nice cozy cars. You can get these things with the N55 actually, which is kind of dope. Um, that thing's a rocket ship if you can get it with the N55. N20 on the other hand, I don't think I would ever get one of these with an N20 in it. All right, let's see what she's got going on here. Read codes. Cooked. Cooked. So it looks like we got a misfire in all four cylinders, so there's got to be something going on. I, You know, it doesn't really look like compression. It'd be more one or two or three cylinders. Um... Got to kind of look out. Maybe something with the fueling system. Maybe the high-pressure fuel pump took a shit. Because it has to do with all these cylinders. Um, that's really the only thing that can contribute to this much. But we'll go back and do some research. All right, we got rail pressure here. And cylinders one through four misfire counters. So let's fire this bitch up and see what we see. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like three and four mostly. That sounds tough. That sounds real tough. So, kind of rules out it being the high pressure fuel pump. Um, just start it again. If it was the high pressure fuel pump, we'd pretty much see all four cylinders having misfires on them, but just three and four is kind of suspicious. So, what we're gonna end up doing is probably doing a little compression test on it, seeing what the compression numbers say, and then kind of going from there. First, we're gonna have to remove the beauty cover and kind of do a little inspection, see if there's anything obvious we see, but that's gonna be the next step. All right, so before we do the compression test, we're gonna go ahead and swap the cylinders three and four ignition coils with one and two. And that will effectively rule out whether these things are bad and we just need to replace these, or if there's another issue at hand that is causing this misfire. So we're gonna go ahead and swap these and see if the misfire jumps over to one and two and then uh, kind of rule out the ignition coils. So if you zoom in, there's a little bit of copper showing on the injector wire right there. I don't think that's enough to cause a misfire necessarily, but uh, that's something to keep note of. All right, so after swapping the ignition coils, we're gonna give it another start and see if it's switched. Still on three and four. So that pretty much rules out the ignition coils. We're gonna move on to a compression test now. This will pretty much show us if we're gonna need a motor or not because nobody rebuilds motors anymore nowadays. So we are gonna do a little compression test here. This is my kit, it comes from Mac Tools. Um, 
This is the part number if you guys want to get it through there, but I'll throw a link in the description to a cheaper one on Amazon that'll do the exact same thing for half the price. But yeah, this will come with all the different fittings. These screw in pretty much where your spark plugs go into. Uh, you just remove all your spark plugs. Uh, so we're going to remove the ignition coils, take out the spark plugs, and do a compression test on this thing. Similar to a lot of other European cars, it's going to use a 14 millimeter triple square socket like that. So if you don't have one of these, you're going to need to pick it up before doing a compression test or even spark plugs on this thing. We're going to go ahead and remove the spark plugs, stick the compression tester in there, and see what the numbers say. So I just pulled the spark plugs, and there's one through four right here. So one, two, three, four. And I don't really necessarily see anything that would be caused with a misfire. They are a little black, which may indicate unburned fuel, which may be a lesser fuel quality. They might be putting regular instead of premium in here, which uh, might not be burning all the fuel completely. So, note that for now, but nothing in particular. That so for the N20 in particular, this is going to be an M12 adapter here. So stick the tube down there, kind of hand tighten it like that, just snug it. Stick the compression gauge on here, and we're going to crank it over, see what it says. All right, we're gonna go crank it right now. All right, so that's about where we want it. High hundreds. Um, realistically from new, it probably should be around 210. And uh, minimum is probably 140. There'll be like a max deviation. So it'll be like right around 40 PSI is like the max deviation it could have between cylinders. So that was cylinder one, which is good, no misfire. We're gonna jump back to cylinder four, see what it says. It's gonna be a bad day for this customer. 60 PSI of compression in cylinder four. You could just hear when you're cranking it. It was quick to crank, which is uh, kind of indicative of no compression. Usually if it has compression, it'll slow down on that crank, like you heard with uh, cylinder one. So we're gonna do cylinder three, and then move back to two just to verify but uh it's kind of looking sketchy for this guy we're gonna do cylinder three and then cylinder two just to verify but it's looking kind of sad for this guy most likely gonna need a motor i don't know if the valves went bad back there or if uh, maybe it's a piston ring issue but either or we're not going to be rebuilding this thing most likely be replacing it so i'm gonna go ahead and do three and two and verify but that'll be it for right now this is going to be cylinder three here That's cooked. Making a little less than 90 PSI of compression. Probably around 82 there. So those back cylinders three and four are toast. One and two are good. Uh, I'm gonna verify that two's good real quick. All right, we're gonna finish off with cylinder two here. Yep, cylinder two's got good compression, so it's gonna need a motor most likely, unless there's some issue going on with the rockers in the back or the Valtronic system down here. Um, it's gonna need a motor. We'll pretty much conclude this diagnostic here. Um, it doesn't have compression in the rear two cylinders, so uh, maybe we'll pull the valve cover off and inspect it, but even if there is something wrong down there, it's probably gonna be more cost efficient to just replace the motor. So that'll conclude this sad episode of no compression on N20.